We want to use the B tracer add-on to create a curve or a path so that we would also get another object to follow the curve that we created from any object that we have or any mesh we have. So I will just use the default cube here and I, if you don't have the add-on just go to edit preferences and then you can get the go to add-ons and then you write T trace or trace and it will come and you just add it to your thing now I have mine uh, done now I go to N and then you go to create now when you come here you go to B trace and what we want to do is we want to uh, the trace a selected mesh objects with a curve so I press this you can do some settings here if you want for example if you want the curve depending on how thick you want the curve you can adjust the, uh, the depth uh, adjust the bevel depth here so to, for example let's first of all um, see what the default gives us this is what we have if in case you want it bigger you can or smaller depending on what let's change this to 0 0.2 and then we we enter you see that it becomes bigger okay now what maybe I maintain it as it is like that and then I press in to close that and then I will create um, I will add the mesh to it so let's go here mesh uh, sorry i'll add the uv sphere not a mesh though well it's a mesh and then i would go to s and make it a bit smaller what my intent is to make this go um through here okay now i would go to um object constraint properties and then what we want to learn today is follow path uh, so i press follow path and then um i want to uh, this to follow this path so i come here pick this and then i indicate where it should follow now if if let's see if I want it to follow the curve so I'll press this and then I press animate path so now it jumps to uh, the beginning of this and then when we just play it it goes like this one thing is I've not restricted it I see that I want it to end here and then continues on and on not that it exits I could make it just as it but to reduce I would reduce this let's reduce this to about 100 I think 100 is good so that when it's done yes okay so then I enter actually I think if let um, anyway I go back I bring this here and then I starts again and then it will just keep looping something like that because when it's a uh, uh, hundred it starts over again so that's basically what i wanted to show in case you want to put some material on this let's put some material to make it a bit beautiful so you just go to material here and then let's maybe just make this some color i don't we choose something like this for uh, this we go here to the uh, material preview and then i don't know whether maybe we just leave this as it is um the sphere and then one thing let's look at let's go to the render place i think it's good if we want to capture it we just um, get our camera like this then if we want to change the world um put something behind we can always do if you we are not interested in this i just go to the world and maybe i put something something there i don't know let me see what i want to put maybe i'm going to put some thing there let's see what do i have 
I would um, this no maybe I go to this this and then I would choose I want to put this um this maybe this okay maybe this is nice uh, the problem is that now this should <laughs> let me give this a different color because then it cannot be seen right okay so we go to material okay we are there we go to material new and then we give this maybe a, a, a color hmm, i don't know what color to give it i don't really maybe we give it um this makes it clear and then so that's what i wanted to show you guys um in case if this helped you in any way please help me by subscribing to my channel or giving the video a like thank you bye